The park is 71,000 acres, so we have a lot of area for our visitors and guests to spread out across the park. So yes, uh, Custer State Park is open and a great place for people to come, uh, view the wildlife and to get outdoors. Uh, the first bison came to Custer State Park in 1914. And so the herd has grown over the years. So with bison calves, we're expecting 475 bison calves this year. They just started calving about a week ago and they'll be calving. The peak will be here the end of April, beginning of May. And you know, people can come throughout the day. That's what's great about bison is you can find them usually along the wildlife loop road. They're gonna be the most active though, either in the morning or at night, like other wildlife are. For safe distancing, we're just asking people to stay uh, you know, back a ways, 100 yards, just so that way the moms this time of year are very protective of those small calves and so we don't want anybody to be injured. We've always been, you know, really telling people to stay back and so obviously with social distancing you need to, you know, groups of people need to kind of stay away from each other, limit your interactions with other guests that are trying to view the bison, uh, maybe, you know, move your car a little bit from another vehicle that's pulled along the side of the road. If you want to get out, stay right by your car though. The bison are the first ones to have their young for the year, but when we get into May, there's always a lot of elk in the park, and so they'll have their calves. We have the pronghorn antelope, we have uh, white-tailed deer, we have mule deer. Uh, the prairie dogs will be coming out with their little ones here in a little bit. So yeah, there's a lot of wildlife viewing opportunities. You know, these are the first ones to be born, and really when we get into May and June, that's when you'll start to see a lot more.